so the fourth of uh, the videos this is about creating a Gmail account uh, creating a general ledger account and in order to do this we have to go to the general ledger folder uh, with accounting financial accounting general ledger master records then GL accounts then individual processing then centrally FS00 so this is the T code here you can uh, be as we discussed in class in the session as well that we can actually display a GL account over here we can change a GL account we can create a new GL account or we can create a new GL account with template creating with template means that we create from an existing account we copy the contents of, a, of an existing account to a new account so that the input entry time and the input entry effort is saved this is to lock an existing account to block and this is actually to delete an existing account mark for deletion of course the account cannot be permanently deleted if the data uh, or the numbers exist therein so let's see one by one we all know that the bank account number was one double zero triple zero we can also call this from f4 and let's display it or just press enter so the system will display the gl account so here you can see that the account group is there the mention of the balance sheet or the PL account is there and then of course you can see other settings the short text and that long text then in the second tab the important thing to note is that the currency and the balances only in local currency means that we cannot debit or credit foreign exchange uh, currency foreign currency in this account we have to convert it first into the local currency the third tab uh, some of the important things in the third tab is the field status group and we discussed that the field status group is actually uh, something uh, which determines what sort of fields are going to be mandatory while using this account what sort of fields are going to be optional and what sort of fields are going to be suppressed or are not required or not allowed for entry when this actually account will be used so the field status group is actually the general balance sheet account right it means that if we will post to this balance sheet, this account the system won't ask us for the cost centers if you recall the assignment in the while we we usually when we debit the expenses the system asks us for the cost center this is so because the field status group of an expense account has mentioned that whenever an expense account is being posted the system must ask for the field cost center that there should be some data in the cost center field or the cost object field so this is uh, uh, actually this field is this status group data means what sort of fields are going to be mandatory what sort of fields are optional and what fields are actually suppressed means the data is not allowed to be entered post automatically only indicator which is unchecked for this account means that if we check then this account becomes a sort of a sort of control account means that uh, uh, this account cannot be used directly for the general entry purpose but it can only be posted automatically by uh, using the other accounts the other transactions to which this account will be linked for example account receivable if we see the account receivable account or any other accounts which are sort of control account then we can see that they have been uh, marked as post automatically only because we cannot debit account receivable directly in an entry we debit a customer similarly we cannot credit account receivable directly in an entry we credit a customer and the account receivable gets posted automatically supplement automatic posting means the manual postings as well as automatic postings are allowed the other details are not relevant for us uh, again the different languages in which the account is maintained and who has actually created this account so we can see that this is the user ID of the person who has created this account and this is the date on which this account was created so this was about display of, a, of an account right now let's move on to the first step again and now we want to change an account let's say we want to change an account the account ID of which was 101000 for changing we will need to press this button and we can see now that the details are editable please do not change any of the settings but this is just to show that many of the details can now be edited we can change the account group we can change the currencies etc etc the third possible option is to create a new account right so let's go back again and come to the entry again to create a new account there must be an account number which doesn't currently exist so for example if i want to create an account 100392 
and I will place display I will press the display and the system will give me the error that the account does not exist similarly I cannot change this account because the account does not exist I can create this account from scratch which is not recommended or I can create this account with template means that I can create this account such that I will give another account number from which the data will be copied to this new account so let's create this account and the title of the account is bank oh sorry the GL account the system asks us the reference account so the reference account number from which the account is to be copied let's say is the bank account from company code US00 and then I pressed enter and you can see that all the settings of the existing bank account have been copied to this, this, this account so I do not need to reassign the account group I do not need to reassign uh, re uh, uh, confirm the uh, system whether it's a balance sheet account or an income stream account I can just change the title it's bank JBI-392 so this is a new bank account and bank account for GBI-392 for example then let's go to the another tab again we don't need any customized information here so we keep the details as they are same over here same over here and we simply save this account so since the account is saved the system is confirmed that the account is saved and the check names in alternate languages since we are only using the English language so we are not concerned about this we press enter and now since this account exists if we try to create it again the system would allow us to create because the account already exists but if we want to display this account we can simply display this account and by displaying this account we can see the description that we just entered all the other details and towards the last we can also see our user ID through which this account was created and the date on which this account was created so I hope this video will help you in uh, your uh, learning SAP thank you